Okay, we're going to continue with working on the game controller. And in particular, what I want to do is the game controller draws the scoreboard. And the next things I want to add, uh, we've got the scoreboard here, which is great. And we drew the scoreboard at the bottom. But where um, the word score is, I want to place on the screen the actual score. And where the blank area is, I want to place some lives. So what I'm going to do is the next thing I'm going to do is in the create event of controller life, I want to set uh, the lives up and the score up. So let's add a new event here uh, quickly. And I'm going to say add event create. And when the game controller is created, I'm going to go to the score and set the score to zero points. I'm going to set the lives to three lives. So I think three is a good number for lives. And I'm going to set the health to 100% health. So now when the game starts and it's created, you've got zero points, three lives, and 100% health. Great. Let's go back to the scoreboard and add the next thing in the scoreboard, which is going to be draw the score. So in the draw event where we draw the bottom uh, banner, I want to draw the score. And where do I draw the score? I don't need to put the caption of score because as you remember, um, score is already on the screen. Um, it was part, it was drawn in the graphics program. Whoever made this bottom scoreboard put that on the screen. So all I need to do is I want to draw the value of the score without a caption at 180 and 440 as the relative position. And I do that. You can use the values in the tutorial, but you could calculate it yourself uh, by um, putting different values in and then seeing where the score will appear. One of the other things is I want the score. You'll see the scoreboard um, is in yellow. I want to change the font to yellow, the color of the text to yellow rather, so that it matches that same sort of color of yellow. So I'm going to do that as well. So let's go before I draw the value of the score. I want to go to the draw event where there's some options. And I'm going to set the color here to be the color yellow um, to sort of match uh, what is on the scoreboard. So the score is going to be drawn at a color of yellow. Okay, one of the next things uh, in the tutorial is we're going to draw the lives as an image. And um, I'm going to use a sprite for that. So I'll show you, uh, we can draw a sprite on top of a sprite and I'll show you how to do that. So the scoreboard is a sprite. If I create a sprite, and I'll call this Sprite Life, and what I have is a miniature uh, version of the plane. And you'll see it looks similar. It's not animated. It's just a single frame, and it's a little bit smaller. Um, so I'm going to create uh, this sprite here. And then in the draw event, I'm going to draw a sprite, and it's going to draw it, the Sprite Life, um, at uh, 176, and I think it was uh, 440. And that's going to, uh, oops. Uh, I'm gonna, sorry, I'm gonna draw lives as images. So I'm gonna use the score tab and, and draw this, this one. Oops, wrong one. Uh, back up a bit if uh, <laughs> you watch the video. Uh, back up, I put the wrong one on. I wanna draw lives as an image. And I'm going to use Sprite Life at, uh, I think it's 176 and 440, something like that. Okay, so now I've uh, set the scoreboard up uh, and it's all good. I've created some lives, three, health 100, and score to zero. I've drawn the uh, scoreboard. I've set the color to yellow. I draw, uh, drew the value of the score, which will be zero at the beginning. Uh, drew the lives as an image. Oh, I also need to do the health bar. So I'm going to put the health bar in as well, and that's uh, the same thing. I draw, and you'll notice the draw events in the score tab. If I want to draw the score, it's the yellow one. If I want to set the score, it's the gray one. If I want to set the lives, it's a gray one. 
draw it, it would be the yellow one, which is uh, that or draw lives as image. Same with health. When I set the health, it was gray. The draw one is a yellow. So I'm going to draw uh, the health bar. And to get the dimensions for that, just go to the um, tutorial and you'll see the dimensions uh, are um, 12, 449. Uh, and then it's going to go to 138, 459. Great, and now um, I should have everything uh, set on here uh, for the draw event. So I draw sprite bottom, I set the color, I draw the value of the score, draw the health bar, and draw the lives. Okay, one last thing I'd like to uh, show you is um, the depth. The game controller, I'm gonna put at a depth of negative uh, 2000 and Negative means it's not going to be very deep. It's going to be floating in the air. And the reason I want it to be floating in the air is I want it to be above all the planes. So any object is going to go underneath the scoreboard. The other way I could do it um, is I could take objects like island and all of that, and I could set all of these objects. Uh, the island, let's say, I could put it at uh, uh, 2,000 uh, for depth. And the... Uh, planes, the enemy planes I could put at 1,000 would be another way to do a, deal with depth. Depth is how deep things are. So things can go over top of things. So think of depth. So if it's deep, it goes in the water, even deeper below the water. Uh, if it's negative, it goes in the air. And so what I did is with the game controller, I set the uh, depth to be negative 2,000. So it floats in the air and it's above everything. Great, so this is my game. Um, it's now gonna look like this. It should have three lives, a health of 100%. Uh, the planes are drawn on it, uh, scoreboard, and oops, I put the, uh, I need to modify that value to get that over a bit. So I obviously didn't put the, when I drew the lives, um, I must have the wrong value for X. Let me put 200 uh, and let's just try that and see if that is a better spot for it. And when I press play, it looks like it's a pretty good spot, I think. Yeah, much better. Okay. Um, and there's my game.